Hi, I'm Father Greg Adolph, the pastor at St. Andrew the Apostle in Sierra Vista. We're here with a Southwest Mission Research Center tour pilgrimage of the Kino Missions. And we're standing at San Antonio de Okitoa in the Altar Valley. Behind me is the church. We believe maybe one of the uh, more original of the mission churches that is going back to the Jesuit era. Uh, not a later Franciscan reconstruction or over construction. It's a charming church in a charming village, very much the feel of a, of a small mission village around us. And we're standing in the Campo Santo, the cemetery which surrounds the parish church. With the dead around the parish church, there's a sense of the bond between the living and the dead, the communion of saints. As the letter to the Hebrews says, surrounded as we are by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, and with them receive the unfading crown of life. The day of the dead and the remembrance of the dead in our daily masses reminds us of that vital connection that we are one body of Christ, the church in glory in heaven, the church in her final purification in purgatory, the church on earth you and I, but part of one body of Christ, one great living reality, the body of Christ through all time, through all eternity, in all places. Hi, I'm George from St. Mark's Parish. We're traveling into Mexico here, and this is the town of Ocaterra. We're in a beautiful cemetery, and some of the things that show in this cemetery is the age of the town, the community, and the generations. Garcia, Garcia, Garcia. It tells you father, son, daughter, all those things all wrapped up here. The beautiful ones that are maintained here and the more ancient ones further back in another section. It's just a gorgeous place to come and rest for a little bit and spend some time. Pete. My name is Pete and I'm a, a parishioner at St. Thomas the Apostle Church in Tucson. This is my first trip to Okotoa and and this is a very old church and burial site, and you won't have a complete perspective of it just from this vantage point. My, uh, my impressions are that this, the culture goes back so many hundreds of years here and to the time of Father Kino, and, and it's, uh, it's, it's, the people are so respectful of their, of their deceased ancestors, and you can tell it by not only the magnificence of some of the graves or the or, or, or really the number of them but the just the culture is uh, is alive and it's so well maintained uh, and that's that's my impression 